hair, fashion, makeup. These are the tools that help us express ourselves and tell the world who we actually are. Do we need some help learning the best way to use them? Well, Teresa did. And with the help of my amazing team, we've given her a complete makeover here on The Younger You. I'm on top of the world, now I'm living. And the good just gets better, keeps on giving. Not even close to the end, it's just beginning. Life is getting lighter while the days are getting brighter, yeah. And that's a good, I won't even worry anymore. Took all my cares, still can kick them all out the door. Go on a try, come and tell me what you're waiting for. Move and keep them going till your life is overflowing, yeah. Welcome to The Younger You. Today on the show, we're talking all about fashion, beauty, and of course, hair. We're giving you the tips and tricks you need to look your absolute best. Later on, we'll be meeting Teresa, who received a fabulous makeover with the help of my great friends at the Marinello School of Beauty. I'm gonna show you how to apply concealer in four easy steps. Your first step is to choose your concealer. There's many different types. You have sticks, you have creams. Then you're going to want to choose your color and you want it a little lighter than your skin tone. Today we're gonna use a cream concealer in a pot. Before you apply your concealer, you'll want to moisturize. Always choose a moisturizer with SPF. You can now apply the concealer. You don't want to rub or smear too much. Instead, you want to use a patting technique. Also, a little goes a long way. If your concealer still isn't covering up the dark circles under the eyes, you can also use a yellow-based concealer that's gonna help neutralize the violet tones under the eye. Once applied, you just wanna blend that out until you see no harsh lines of demarcation. And repeat on the other side. To help blend the concealer out, you can take a larger foundation brush and go ahead and blend that further out. Now she's ready to be set with some mineral or pressed powder. Teresa, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. My name is Lindsay Greathouse. I'm the artistic director with Marinella Schools of Beauty, and we are going to be making a change today, yes? Yes. Are you ready? I am for ready. For your makeover? Yes. As I was growing up, I had short, spiky hair, and I actually liked that look for a while, but as I'm older, I, I just still want a little softer look. So nothing too drastic, but we could go a little shorter. What I'm thinking today, bringing up the length, um, really accentuating your jawline hair, opening up your face. Okay. So, you know, taking a lot of this bulk out at the bottom, it's gonna give you a lot more youthful look and I really think it's gonna open up your face and, and be a lot more modern for you. I'm interested in getting either a different style or the same type of style, but just getting a haircut and color. I desperately need color. What did you have in mind for color? Um, I like the warm brown mm -hmm. tones, um, and I like the ease of an overall color. Okay, so how do you feel about these? Right, I do like the darker browns. You're drawn to the, the dark. Mm -hmm. Okay. How would you feel if we did something in this range today? No. No? No. That would I'm, that would be a no-go. I'm not fond of those reds. I, I am drawn more to the deeper. Okay. And then how would you feel maybe about something like this then, between these two? And I do lean more towards, towards the darker. The darker. Okay. Yes. But what I am thinking for you today is definitely taking you lighter. Get some of that dark pigment out of your ends and through your hair strand and add some dimension through your top with some foils. As your new growth grows back in, it is gonna give more dimension, so where the artificial hair starts will be less noticeable as it grows out. With us taking you lighter all over and then adding just those few dimensions, maybe you know right through your part, it would keep the maintenance down, but like we said, as your new growth comes in, it'll be less noticeable. So I'm really excited for this opportunity for a hairstyle that will fit my personality. Yeah, I'm ready to go for it. And we're gonna get started with this haircut. Okay. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Okay. 
I'm, I'm more of a risk taker with my hair and I'll see a picture that I like and I'll take it into the salon and you know try and get that look. I've always liked uh, Jennifer Aniston's style, the color that she chooses. Her hair's um, very classy looking, but fun too. And it doesn't always turn out exactly like I had hoped, but yeah, I'm, I'm a little more of a risk taker with my hair. I would love a versatile hairstyle. I don't want anything that's hard or too time consuming. I'm very busy, and so I need something that's very easy, but still doable for work, and that I can spice up a bit maybe if I go out on the town. I'm thinking it looks a little bit like a page boy haircut right now, so I'm just excited to see the final results. A little nervous about the color, um, but like I said, I'm a risk taker. I'm okay to spice it up a bit, and I'm actually excited. Okay, it's time to reveal Teresa's brand new look. You guys did an amazing <laughs> job. Hey, Teresa, how are you? Hello, I'm doing great, Good. thanks. So, Trey, with the hair, when we met Teresa, she was a lot darker. Yeah. Making her look older. Yeah. So, the first thing we wanted to do was take her lighter. Okay. And we wanted to really give her some dimensional color. So, she's got a bit darker around the perimeter, some nice highlight. And it's really got a nice copper warmth to it. Okay. And that's going to help make it look and feel younger. Some of the main issues that you were telling me about, Teresa, is that, she, number one, she thought her hair was really thick and bulky. How did you achieve this much smoother look? You're right, Troy. Teresa is lucky and she has a ton of hair. But it's very coarse. So the first thing ah. we needed to do was get a lot of that weight out, which we did with a layer. Okay. And that's going to remove a lot of the weight. But we also used a slicing technique. Okay. So that's going to help break up the ends a little bit so they fit more like a jigsaw puzzle instead gotcha. of such a harsh line. I think you look stunning, I have to yeah. say. But I want to talk about the outfit is completely different to what I thought you would dress her in. What do you think when you see this in the mirror? It's fun. Do you? Yeah, I love this, you know, this little belt line um, okay. lace. It's really fun. Yeah. All right. Well, before we just get into that, I want to ask you, Lindsay, were you thinking this type of look when you're also talking about the hair? We wanted to go younger, okay. you know, and so going lighter with the hair, the haircut is very edgy. It's got some movement to it, right? D and so it does. It goes well because the haircut and the color is interchangeable and convertible in the sense she can style it different ways. Ah, gotcha. And I feel like the wardrobe with the jean, the staple top is the same concept. Here. What do you think of your new look? Love the new really? look. Really? Absolutely. Is it something yes. that you feel that you can keep going and progressing? Yes. Well, <laughs> Teresa, thank you so much. Thank I think you. you've been a real sport thank opening you. up and showing us, and as, as normal, my team, <laughs> great job. I really Thanks. appreciate it. It's just weren't you guys, it was Macy's, the whole team at Marinello School of Beauty. They did an amazing job. Hopefully, you at home learned some great tips on how you can update your own look and also maybe create that younger you for yourself. For more information about the show, please visit our website at theyoungeryou.tv and I'll see you next week.